Previously on Bottom Feeders. These are all gonna get boxed and iced here and loaded on the truck here in just a little bit. And then we gotta do a whole nother load for Thursday. These are all headed towards Minneapolis. If I don't do it, there's always somebody else waiting in line to try to take the business. Well, I think we need a new game plan there, buddy boy. That one we're looking. Got to catch more fish in this, obviously, or I cannot do this. I guess, uh, as I say, you got to roll with the punches. I'm too stubborn to give it up. Carp, sheephead, buffalo, and suckers. For most Americans, these bottom feeders have no place in our lakes or on our plates. But there are fishermen who have found opportunity. gut them buffalo is what I was gonna ask. Suppose we can. There's more in back to do. There's eight more tubs back there. A small business relies heavily on momentum. Today is delivery day at the fish market, and Jeff Ritter must keep things moving forward. I actually thought we were getting close to getting done. I was wrong. I'm stuck between a rock and a hard place. I, I, I know that I need to uh, help deliver, but since we've gotten so busy, I need to be in the market, and we have taken on a couple new customers. It definitely something I don't want to let go. I've put us in a bind. How many hours are there in a day? <laughs> Consumed by the dual challenges of keeping existing customers happy while continuing to grow the business, Jeff needs a little help. For this messed up deal I've got myself in, uh, my wife is gonna make a few deliveries for us. She definitely is a team player. You know how many pounds it is? It's either four or five. You can't mess it up. Sue is a, a blessing. I couldn't be where we're at uh, without her. I'd have such a mess. Okay, love you. Drive careful. You want me to look at the boxes or no? No. Okay. Oh, good. I'll call you. I think she'll do fine. She's delivered before. She's got a new place to go to. Hopefully, she'll find it. Otherwise, she'll be calling. Sue is facing 400 miles round trip. Oh, have to have this, and I've never ran this one. Anyway. Try to help out as much as I can. Some days it's a little more challenging. I might have my day planned out. That might all change in a matter of a phone call. <laughs> it has been a whirlwind. We, we can't keep up with the ice. We can't keep up with the fish coming in, the fish going out, and that's why I'm delivering on my days that I can. We just picked up four more accounts. Too new today. I haven't met these people. We're full going everywhere that we're going. It's exciting though because we are growing and that's what we want. As long as they keep buying fish, we're good. Exit 15. in the upper Midwest. Fishing is slowing down, and some commercial fishermen are forced to scramble. That was a day of fishing. Oh, that was terrible. I used to try to find, do something different for a little while, you know? It's hard to get on fish and stay on them this time of year. I hate to ever say it, but you're better off just not going. You're, you're losing money. My, my goal is to try to make $100 a day just to pay my bills, to feed my dogs. Until the fishing gets straightened out here, until yeah. you know, the market and everything. I gotta make sure the bills get paid here, and it sure doesn't hurt for him to make money either, and it's hard to do a lot of stuff by yourself, so. I need a couple hundred bucks here in the next couple days for sure. Anything for a buck? Yeah. Anything for a buck. You gotta do what you gotta do, you know. The job market is thin in a small town like Pepin, Wisconsin. Hey, Johns, what do you think about cleaning chickens? Chicken cleaner? 
I don't know if I much care for cleaning chickens. I like eating chickens. I don't know if I like cleaning them. Uh, I've never cleaned a chicken before. They really don't like killing yard animals. Yeah, we might as well call him, huh? See what's yeah. going on. Why wouldn't he? He's not making a buck out fishing. He might as well make a buck, too. We're going to try it. The fishing hasn't been great, so if we can uh, make a few bucks fishing and do a few bucks on the side here. It's kind of hard to back out of it. I ought to walk right by the poster and it went to the other poster. Much rather be on the water, I know that. Do whatever you got to do to, to make money. To earn $100 each, Mike and Rick will need to clean 200 chickens. Well, <laughs> I'm not much of a chicken killer. I don't got nothing against killing the carp, but killing the chicken, that's different. She said we can clean anywhere from 100 to 1,000. What if they bite? How many chickens are consumed in the United States each year? How many chickens are consumed in the United States each year? The answer is C. Americans consume more than 8 billion chickens every year. miles from home, Jeff's wife Sue is arriving in Minneapolis. With a host of regular deliveries and two new customers, she must stay on schedule. Point two miles to destination on right. I hate this traffic. Minneapolis is challenging. I try to get in there and out as fast as I can because there's people waiting for the fish. I'm gonna go down to the back. get a cart. <laughs> I usually try to meet all my timelines so I can get the van back here because the guys are usually waiting. They've boxed fish for the deliveries for the next day. So I try to get them to pack them a little bit lighter. This one's 74. This market sells over 200 pounds of Jeff and Sue's fish every week. How are we doing today? So I just need to get your signature. Okay, all right. <laughs> well, thanks, have a good day. Yeah, this one's pretty easy. This one ain't so bad. Except that they don't come out and help. <laughs> Sue is meeting a new customer in a downtown Minneapolis parking lot. Okay, he's not here, Jeff. If this guy's late, that pushes me back for the next guy. It can just snowball. They're usually completely out at the next door. I hope he hurries up. Oh man, that don't look like no chicken. <laughs> I said, boy, it looks delicious, so. <laughs> Back on the farm, if Mike and Rick are going to reach their goal of making 100 bucks each, they better get plucking. Well, where do we start? The lame one, let's get the lame one first. I don't know about this. This don't sit with me very good right now. Getting a little quinge in my, in my tummy. Do they bite? Quit playing with them, just grab one already. Rick can dilly-dally a little more than he needs to, and right now he's got to just quit playing, and we got to get this job done. We said we were going to do it, now we got to do it. I catch him, you kill him. There's two bucks of chicken, so it's better. So I think we need a buck a piece at least to clean these suckers. You got by the leg or what? Any technique that works and you end up with chickens, that's a good enough technique. Watch this. All right, this is a lazy one down here. Oh, oh you little sucker. <laughs> a lot of times you just uh, bite off a little more than you can chew. Oh, there they are. We got a whole bucket full over here, John. Oh, I think I got some poop on there. 
Oh, you little sucker. I'll get, get him. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. Uh. <laughs> there. Catching chickens is only half the job. To get paid, Mike and Rick will need to send those birds to meet their maker. We just got to put them in and... We've signed up to do this. Uh, somebody's counting on us to do this now. Uh, we're going to butcher chickens. I think he uh, wants to go in there anyway, really. He feels pretty secure in there. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> they weren't going to cut their own heads off, so really I wish they would have. I didn't want to be a chicken killer. <laughs> this ain't no fun. I've had better days. You got to cut their heads off. I can't do it. No way. Do a lot of things for a buck, but I don't know about this one. Back in Minneapolis, Sue is waiting to meet the first of her new customers. You sit here and you wait on somebody and they don't they don't know what your schedule is. They don't know what the timelines are. But I, I do. <laughs> and it gets frustrating. They're usually completely out at the next door. That's why I try to get there by eleven. Sue's customer is 25 minutes late. Hi. We got 10? We've got 10. Okay. Mm -hmm. Every customer is important to us. Someone who starts out small could just grow like we did, and that would be just that much better for us. 300. After expenses, Jeff and Sue will clear about 40% or $120 on this order. Are they going to fit? How in the heck are 15 boxes going to fit in his car? Oh my goodness. There's no way he's going to get that smell out of there. That car is toast. <laughs> he had his closet in the trunk. <laughs> Holy God. <laughs> okay. Well, we can go to the next spot. <laughs> you gotta cut their heads off. I can't do it. No way. With fishing slow, the Johnson boys are trying to make a few extra bucks any way they can. But for Rick Johnson, cleaning chickens just might not cut it. I do a lot of things for a buck, but I don't know about this one. Actually, butchering of them is kind of one where I just kind of I cringe. How come you can got a flopping fish? And that bugs you so much, though. I don't know. Isn't that strange, though? He's used to cleaning fish. He's used to cleaning muskrat deer or whatever wild game that he's gonna eat. It's just cleaning another animal. Get it done with, let's get going. Stuff that is running out in the yard, I think is a pet. I don't have chickens running around my house and kill them to eat. For the amount of money I'm getting paid to do it, just, it just wasn't worth it to me at all. Yeah, it's gotta be all $5 a piece for these, man. I don't know if feathers and scales co-mingle that well. Would you get that sucker <gasps> done? <laughs> it's really? <laughs> He's reincarnated. Unbelievable. <laughs> Quiet. <laughs> if we're each gonna make a hundred bucks, we still need another couple dozen here at least, huh? 182. We might be off by a few. 
We've got quite a few hours into this already. It doesn't look like we're really gonna make it. We might have to cut it just a little short and try to make up for it another day. Next time we do something for a buck, I'm not listening to you no more. No part of that was worth it to me. Not running after him, killing him, none of it. Spent the whole day on them chickens and made $100. I think I might go back to fishing. I think I got it this time. I got lost a few times, got off on the wrong, <laughs> wrong ramp. A small business is like a garden. While the current crop requires a great deal of care, the yield will only grow if seeds go into the ground. With her husband Jeff buried in work back at the market, Sue is developing new customers in Minneapolis. I haven't gotten lost. Uh, <laughs> which is always a plus in Minneapolis. Overall, it's been a pretty good day. Anxious just to get back home, get back on track, get the guys going. They sell a ton of fish, and ours is always empty when I come in here. Every time we deliver, they've sold all of it. With existing deliveries complete, all Sue has left is the new customer. This is a new guy to me. He's talked to Jeff. Hopefully we can make this guy happy and he can um, pass the good information on to the next guy. Uh, Jeff put some extra fish on there. I forgot what he told me. <laughs> Egg, so the eggs. Did this idea or not yet? Just for you to try. Oh, okay, okay, thank you. So, um, yeah, I told him that too. If um, like I have a friend of mine in Fargo, mm -hmm. and if it's the kind of fish we're looking for, you and, you and your husband are going to be happy with that over there. I think he's going he gonna to get a lot. Oh, that's so, good. Yeah. You can never sell too much fish. <laughs> he's still over there. It's hard to believe. It, three times as big as mine. That's more of a dried and smoked fish market. We really don't have a big outlet for that. If we could get this account, it's going to be pallets of this dried. That would be huge. Thank you. You going home now or are you going? We're all done. All done. <laughs> it's good nice to meet you. you. Nice to meet you. Thank Thanks. You. And Jeff's product is beautiful, he said. <laughs> and I said he's very passionate about what he does and he said it shows. He said we are going to be selling a lot of it. Overall, we had a great day. Everyone was satisfied with the delivery. My truck is empty and I'm going home. I'm wondering where you've been. I'm just teasing. How was the new store? Very nice. Pretty cool guy. Very, yeah. And he said he's just a drop in the hat. He said if his... that's a drop in the hat, I don't know what. What would we be sending out there? Got the delivery done, no problems whatsoever. Um, and now tells me she has a lead for a possible uh, new order. We're not going to let it go. We're just going to grab it by the tail. I figure if we could do this for one more year, we can retire and move to the Bahamas. <laughs> we'll be good. I feel like we accomplished a bunch. She came through big time for us today, and, and um, maybe I'll have to take her out to dinner. Thank you, honey. I do appreciate I it. I know. <laughs> Self-reliance is a responsibility. With fishing slow, Mike and Rick Johnson must make ends meet any way they can. And I think this is the pumpkin patch. There they are. What are you supposed to do, just pick them or what? <laughs> Throw them in the truck too if you're gonna get there. I gotta make sure the bills get paid here and I gotta earn the buck. I don't, I don't expect anybody to give it to me. I'm gonna do whatever it takes to survive. Think about it, five bucks a pumpkin. We gotta split with the guy. That's uh, 250 a piece. The timing's right, why not? I'm hoping it's gonna be about the easiest buck I made in a long time. It's a buck and a quarter a pumpkin. I loaded six pumpkins now, you loaded one? I mean, it sounds easier than the chickens. I guess a different way of making money and I ain't got to kill nothing. Pumpkin pie. Who don't like pumpkin pie? 
Mike and Rick set up shop in one of Pepin's busiest locations. Pumpkins for sale, pumpkins for sale, pumpkins. Fishing one day, selling pumpkins the next. I didn't think I'd ever be selling pumpkins the next. I don't know I know one showing up. Close enough to Halloween, you'd think people would be stopping for pumpkins. I see the buzzard circle. <laughs> I think that's a bad <laughs> sign. Well, a lot of people stopping and going and getting gas, but not a lot of pumpkin buyers. I, I don't think it's going to work, really. How much are you selling them for? Uh, five bucks on five the choice, I guess, or yeah. them real little ones, you know, we can let like, go cheaper, I guess. That's what happens, I'm looking for a pumpkin. Pumpkin selling was a pretty, is a pretty good idea. Good luck with your pumpkins, guys. <laughs> Thanks. It was a pretty good gig, actually. It was, uh, we sat around and <laughs> bullshit and uh, made a few bucks in the process. So, most of them. Yeah, the days are all on, I guess. Yeah. We made a few bucks anyway. Yeah. We might as well take off. We can split up the money we made. Sometimes you just gotta do some things that you don't wanna do. You gotta survive in this world. Staying at home is not surviving. Mama's been calling anyway, so. I like to stay at least open-minded about any other options, really. You never know where something simple could really lead. If it's something I can uh, supplement my fishing, uh, why not? What's the take there? I must have a little over 100 bucks anyway, huh? Good enough. I'm just always gonna be a survivor. I'm gonna do whatever it takes to survive. Good enough. Thank you.